Or I go on YouTube. As you know, it's O'Neill and you're watching Blue Color Finance. Barita Investment has seen increased movements in its stock price and the company has traded above that $100 margin um, since of late. All right, so the company peaked out some $107 and now the company has fallen back today some 6.8% to close at $100.17. This was on the back of news that Barita has spent some $1.5 billion to purchase some, um, some, some, some real estate land in, in, in what, St. Mary, I guess. All right, so again, retail investors has been dominating the market, the local market, and news like these are expected to send the stock price to um, astronomical value, right? And we're seeing where that is happening to the Barita Investment Limited stock price. All right, so as you can see on the chart, the company was trading at some 86 cents. I mean, eighty six dollars and ninety nine cents as of September twenty twenty um twenty one twenty twenty two, all right, and the company has a massive run up to two hundred one hundred and seven dollars and eighty nine cents, all right, leveling off for a day and then trading back down today, all right. So that price put Barita at one hundred and twenty two billion dollars in terms of its market capitalization all right however for the week the company has pulled back some seven percent for the month the company pulled back seven percent so you're, you're seeing a small pullback in the burrito's stock price um over the last couple of days all right so what i want to do is to consult our spreadsheet all right, you know we're always, and from the other day, we have been consulting the spreadsheet more often than not. All right, so we are consulting the spreadsheet, and we want to look at how Barita, um, um, we want to look at how Barita fears as it relates to the standards that we set for value in company, and as it relates to the model that we use to value these companies all right so we're just gonna up right over to the spreadsheet and we want to give barita a color code and you know the color code thing were over blue color finance we give stocks a red a hamba or a green based on how the stock price is trading relative to its intrinsic value and again Mark your nothing said on this channel is financial advice or anybody believe so financial advice we are give is dumb. All right. So we could just jump right over to the spreadsheet and we can have a look at Barita and how Barita has traded. All right. And we give the company a color code. All right. So Barita is in the yellow row. All right, and as you know, Barita Investment Limited, and the, and the ticker is Bill B I L. All right, the company has stock, um, shares outstanding of 1.2 billion shares. All right, so the number of shares outstanding is 1.2 billion. So, Barita, and even though Barita has that amount of shares outstanding, the company is not. Um, majority of the shares is held by cornerstone so you know cornerstone and the majority share order um with about 74 percent i think the company sell off uh, the last time i look at the top 10 share order cornerstone and somebody else owns together own 74 percent of barita investment all right I think Cornerstone will sell off his share to less than 74%, but it must sell it off to one of my friends or somebody who are close and they'll keep it in, in the niche. All right, so 1.2 billion shares outstanding, 74% of that is held um, between Cornerstone and some close associate. So it's not a lot of, of, of shares 
is in the public's domain, all right? And because of this, Barita commands a high price and continues to command a high price, all right? Also, Barita has its ESOP, which is the, the, the employee shares option that it continues to use to repurchase um, the stock as the stock tend to fall below a certain threshold all right so as of today the stock closed at one hundred dollars and seventeen cents all right barita has a book value of thirty dollars and fifty seven cents so this is a lot of money all right or a large book value and it seems that barita never got impacted that much by the falling off of the bond price all right, like a JMB um, got impacted by the falling off the, of the, the bond price as interest rates increase. So it seems that this never happened that much to Barita. All right, so Barita here with a book value of $30.57. Earnings per share um, for the last, for the trailing four quarter is just $2.77. All right, so two dollars and seventy-seven cents for Barita's earning per share over the last twelve months, and as a result of that, Barita has a PE of thirty-six. All right, so that's a very high PE. All right, and I will just skip down to the bottom of the 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 um the industry group that Barita is in, which is the financial industry group. And if you follow, I'm going to paint that cell in, in yellow so you can follow. This is the average PE for the financial industry group, which is 9.92x. All right, so 9.92x for the average PE of the financial sector. Barita is currently trading at some 36x. All right, so that's a big, that's a high P.E. ratio for Barita. I guess investors are saying Barita is a growth company. All right. And they're expecting Barita to grow into that 36x P.E. Now, the question is, will Barita be able to grow into that 36x P.E.? Now, Blue Color Story about Barita has been told numerous of times. All right. So we have a lot of videos that way. Tell the Barita story, I will tell it over and over again. So, owner understand, owner know the blue color story of Barita investment and whether or not we believe Barita can grow into this 36 XPE. What we will do is to post those videos in the description below so you can just consult the, um, the videos in the description, go up on the, 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 the thing, click the videos and watch them to the end so you can get an understanding, a full understanding of our perspective of the Barita um, growth story. Whether or not we believe Barita has the potential to continue to grow in, 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 in as the market is pricing Barita as a growth company, all right? So go to the description and pre that. And you will hear a blue color. Think about the Barita growth story. We're not going to repeat it here. So, all right. All right. So, Barita priced the book and as a financial company. As a financial company, this is a very important measure the price to the book value, all right? And the price to book value is really saying, how much are you paying for a dollar of book value, all right? And this again ties into whether or not you believe the company can grow into these ratios. So Barita is trading at $3.22x or 28x. So it is three times are 3.2 times its book value. All right, so the company is currently trading at 3.2 times its book value. That's a lot, a high ratio. And if we should go down to the industry average, again, we'll paint that cell in yellow.
the industry price the book is 1.3 times all right so you're paying just 30 percent above the equity for the equity in in the total financial sector however you will be paying 200 percent 228 percent above equity for a stake of equity a dollar of equity in the burrito stock all right so this could mean that the company is overvalued but it could also mean that investors or what the market is saying is that the company has enough potential to grow its equity stake to justify this price that the company is selling at all right so again if you want to hear the barita growth story and what blue color finance believe about whether or not barita can grow into these um multiples then click in the description below we have a drop the video there we're going to put the link in the description below so you can so you can get an understanding of where blue color how blue color view um, barita's um growth story all right so total equity as a know is 37 million a billion dollars sorry and total earning over the last 12 months is 3.3 billion dollars all right now let us look at Barita's market capitalization the company is selling at 122 billion dollars that's a lot and the company has assets total asset of just 109 billion dollars all right i guess some of these assets is also off balance sheet all right now as it relates to barita growth story um barita plan on entering into the alternative investment all right and real estate is what barita will use to drive all right so the real estate is the base of barita's alternative investment strategy and as Blue Collar Finance always said, you know, Barita will need to grow its equity to justify this high market cap that uh, the market has placed on the company. All right, so the company is placing a market cap of $122 billion. Barita has equity of only $37 billion. So that's a huge gap, over $70 billion gap between the equity that, that is placed into the business and the market cap. So we're saying that the gap between the equity and the market cap needs to be narrowed all right and the only way you can narrow that is by growing your equity exponentially or by taking in add additional equity all right we are also saying that barita will need to come to the equity market very soon and we have said that from last year all right if barita is a continue on this growth path barita has a need to come on the equity market again for come for cash all right so it can and, and add that to the equity and grow the equity so barita will need fresh cash also barita will need to grow the equity barita as i said strategy is to do the alternative investment and real estate is the base of that alternative investment but what we we'll see barita doing because barita will need this additional cash what barita will do is to buy these real estate develop these real estate sell off these real estate get back the money all right and do the same thing over again all right so that is a strategy use the money buy and develop real estate sell off those real estates to the client to people who want it um sell it to clients through their unit trust whatever all right and then pull that money back and reuse that money all right now do you think that is a strategy that will be able to grow barita's equity to justify this 122 billion dollar that a company is selling for real estate takes time to be developed to be sold off all right so how quick how fast can barita grow its equity using this strategy all right so i'm gonna left that to you to answer that question and if you are able to answer that question, then you can decide for yourself where Barita is trading. All right. All right. So as I say, Barita has a market capitalization of $122 billion, total asset of $109 billion. 
Now, equity to total, ass total assets is 34%. All right, we have seen other companies having a lower equity to total assets, so that's not bad for Barita. Return on asset is normally lower um, for these types of company. All right, so they use a lot of leverage. All right, that is it with the financial industry. It's a lot of leverage that is being used. Barita is also using a lot of leverage, and the company has a return on asset at just three percent all right and it's return on equity which is very important and again we use this figure in the model all right that we use to give the company a color code all right and we are seeing where return on equity is a meager nine percent all right again we we just talk about barita needing all right to grow its equity at exponential rate in order to justify that market cap here the return on equity is is tantamount to the growth that the company is getting from equity and a lot of people don't understand this return on equity is telling you how fast the company is growing its equity i was where barita is growing its equity this year for the last 12 months by only nine percent do you believe this is enough to justify that gap that we talk about the 122 billion dollar versus the 37 billion dollar that the company has in equity all right that gap needs to be filled do you think growing the company by just nine percent is sufficient to, to do such a job all right so what we want to do Barita has just created a 9% on return on equity, which we think is not sufficient and which does not depict the company normal return on equity. All right. So Barita has since uh, Cornerstone take over the company and not such uh, so long ago that Cornerstone get the company from Rita Humphrey, which was quite conservative. The company was being run even more conservative than JMB. Can you believe that? All right, so Rita was quite conservative and uh, was sitting on a company with great potential. Now, Cornerstone, cite that Cornerstone, going on a deal with them, get the company and start um, explore or experience the growth that can be had from the company. And we we'll see where the uh, Cornerstone got some real growth, pump a lot of money in the company, and the company was able to grow over the uh, first, the second, and the third year. All right, well, here we're seeing where Barita's growth is being stalled. All right, however, what we're going to do, we're going to use a 15%. All right, Barita is not growing its equity this fast. However, as a mean of caution, we're going to use a 15% a 15 on, on, on the return on equity. All right, average return on equity as 15%, and that's what we will use in the model. Last 12 months, Barita has a return on equity of only 9%. So that's over 6% that we are adding on to the return on equity just for car, um, cautionary measures. Return on equity at market, um, market value. All right, so what this is saying is that if we should purchase Barita at this price and Barita continues to... Um, return or earn or generate that earning that it did over the last 12 months we will only make some three percent on our investment all right so that's not a good look all right so this is telling us something about the pricing of the company it could be that the company is overpriced however all right, so if you look at the government 10-year bond, government bond, or uh, we're using the BOJ policy rate at 6.5%. All right, so the BOJ has been increasing its policy rate um, for the last um, meeting. The BOJ increased the policy rate by 0.5% or half of a basis point. That will, will result in stock price falling. All right, because bonds become more attractive, savings become more attractive. We're expecting people to save more and to invest in the stock market because uh, increasing rates mean stock market is becoming more risky. All right, so 6.5% and this will impact 
the value that we get for the company. Now, if you look at our upper price, and we, we, we you know we talk about the upper price, the anybody that listens blue color finance knows that when we talk about the ULP, the upper limit price, mean that if the company trades anywhere up there, so we know it's it overvalued. We don't have to ask Christ, it overvalued. And if it trade down to the LLP, which is the lower limit price, we know it's it undervalued. All right. And if it trades above the upper limit price, it'll get the red strike. If it trade below the lower limit price, it gets a green. If it trade between both, then we get an amber. And amber means we have to assess it to see if it and, and put it in our zone, whether whether it's overpriced or underpriced. All right, so when we use the upper limit price and the lower limit price to get the upper limit value, or the lower limit value, we're getting $86 billion for the upper limit value and a $43 billion for the lower limit value. So what Blue Color Finance is saying, Barita is supposed to be trading between $86 billion and a $43 billion. The company is currently trading at $122 billion. So that tells us that Barita is trading above the upper limit price. And we'll say anything above the upper limit price is the overpriced zone. Again, this is not financial advice. And anybody thinks that financial advice we are no, or we are give is a dummy. All right. So make a drop a color code from Barita then. And the color code that we are giving Barita is a red. All right, so Barita trading in the red zone because the company is trading far above the upper limit price of about $86 billion. Barita is trading at some $122 billion. What is the market saying? The market is saying the company is a growth company and they're expecting Barita to grow into these multiple. Do you believe Barita have what it takes to grow into these multiples? All right. So I don't know blue color finance, I don't know how the thing go over. Yeah, I know we always say for just like the video, share the video, drop a comment, and make we keep the conversation going. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. Press the notification bell. So next time we drop a video, you will be one of the first to be notified. Say blue color finance drop a video. Make chat till the next one.